It really is best to pay attention and follow instructions. Those are two important things for all of us to, to remember. Years ago, when our daughter Bethany was just very small, uh, she, we were going to church one Sunday morning. She was probably about one, uh, maybe two, but uh, she was just one or two years old and it was cold. It was a cold winter morning and uh, in those days we didn't have car seats. Um, we just held children on our laps and so Hans was in the back seat and <clears throat> I was driving. Edith was in the passenger seat in the front. Edith was holding Bethany on her lap. And because it was so cold she had her covered up in an afghan and it was crocheted and and so there were little holes in the afghan and uh, Bethany was peeking out of the afghan and it was so cute and so I was driving but I was looking over at Bethany and talking to Bethany and looking at her through the holes in the afghan well because I wasn't watching where I was going I got just off the side of the road and got into the snowbank on the side of the road and it just sucked us in and boom we hit the snowbank. Well, there we were. We were stuck. We were really stuck. And um, so I walked to a house that was nearby and, and called someone to come and pick us up. So they came, picked us up, took us to church. Then after church, uh, we needed to get our car out. So there was a, a group of young men there that were there to cut firewood at Beaver Lake. And so uh, they said, oh, go over, they'll help. I said, okay. I told them, hey, guys, like, we have to shovel before you pull it out. So, um, you know, we'll, hook it, you, we'll, we'll shovel, we'll get it snow cleared away from it, then we'll hook a chain onto it, we'll pull it out with, uh, with the uh, half-done pickup truck. So they said, okay, we'll go over. So I go, okay, I'll meet you there. I said, don't do anything until I get there. We have to shovel. I'll bring shovels over and we have to shovel first. Well, when I got there and drove up to the car, something was wrong and when i looked there was the half ton pickup truck and the bumper the back bumper was laying on the road attached to a chain which was attached to my car so we got there so what happened they said well we thought we could just pull it out without shoveling and so we hooked onto it but when we and we jerked it and we thought if we jerk it enough it'll come out but when we jerked the back bumper came off the truck so I said, no, no, we got to shovel. So we shovel and shovel. We got it all shoveled. And then, then we hooked onto it. And then we could pull it out. So two things. I should have been paying attention. I would have never got in the ditch. They should have followed instructions. We wouldn't have pulled the bumper off of the pickup truck. 